Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5066835 or KB5066128 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows update. And if you see the retry option, you can first of all try to retry and then check if that does not work, you can pause the update. And once paused, you can click on resume updates and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to run these two commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make or active on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then copy the first command. Now paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the first scan is 100% complete, you can copy the second command paste it on the same window. Once the second scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find Windows update in the list. Scroll down at the bottom here. You can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted or then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows Update and then click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Set this to Automatic. And then hit Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. And then click on OK. And then make a right click on the Background Intelligent Transfer Service and then Restart. Now at the very top, uh, go to scroll up and here you can see app readiness. Make a double click again, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlight and then click on OK. And then make a right click on app readiness, click on restart and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now, if you see update over here, you might, if you see update option or install option, you can update it and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can go to this website, the Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5066835. And then click on search. And then first of all, type in WINVER in Windows search box, WINVER. And then you can check which version you have. So in my case, it's version 25H2. And then go to Windows settings and then go to system and then go to about option check what kind of system type you have so for me it's 64 bit so for me it's windows 11 version 25 h2 x64 uh, please ignore the language sometimes it does so it's windows 11 version 25 h2 for x64 based system and i have 25 h2 now if you have windows 11 version 24 h2 uh, then Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 base system. This is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Click on download. And then on this screen, uh, click on KB5066835 and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, click on this file and then follow the on-screen instruction to update this update manually. You can update and then you can check. And you can do the same thing uh, with the second update. So if you're facing trouble installing this update, that is KB5066128, uh, you can search the update and then you can install it manually. Now, the next step is to use fixed problems using Windows Update. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, Advanced Option, Recovery Option. Here you can see fixed problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, you can check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here. And then click on next. Select ISO file over here. And then click on next. 
select desktop you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time once done click on finish and let this close automatically it will take few seconds to close then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and then here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel